The Princess of Wales has made her first appearance at the famous tournament, but there could be trouble brewing. You have to wonder what the St. John's Ambo stationed at Wimbledon actually do. Contend with PIMS related tripping incidents. Manage dangerous spikes in blood sugar after vast quantities of strawberries and cream have been gobbled up. Deal with accidental umbrella poking traumas when it inevitably rains. After all, the famed tournament which manages to combine rippling muscles with crumpled linen, or sporting hunger with British politesse and a spot of well-mannered clapping is hardly much of a danger zone. As always smash the like button and subscribe to this channel, this way you won't miss our next video in this same channel. Except, that is pause for dramatic effect if you are a member of the royal family. Because for years now, the tennis love-in has been the setting for intriguing scenes that have often gone on to carry far greater significance. Go back to the shots of Kate, the Princess of Wales and her sister-in-law Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex in 2018 and 2019, and even a former professional actor and an experienced Her Royal Highness couldn't quite pull off the attempt to play Pally. Even back then, at a time when Kensington Palace was desperately peddling the everything's fine line about the two royal brothers and their wives, said women folks' appearance at Wimbledon did nothing to quell the growing feud chatter. The signs of trouble were there at Wimbledon. So are we going to see the same thing play out this year? Overnight on Wednesday, Kate made the first of her usual several trips to the tournament, doing her level best to make a $3,705 Balmain blazer look like something from the whistle sales rack. Look at the photos of her and she is just doing her usual poised, kinda dull future queen turn. Kate showed up, made Olympic level small talk, cheerfully contended with the rain and didn't once demand a break so she could neck champers in a backroom with her trusted right-hand woman, Natalie Barrows. But looking at the shots of the Princess of Wales, what will set this Wimbledon apart is who she chooses to attend with her specifically if Princess Charlotte turns up. Stay with me here. Last weekend, her brother Prince George was trundled along to Lords by his father Prince William to watch the Australians trounce the English, an outing that saw the kid become the only primary schooler in history to eat pizza while ignoring the UK's Prime Minister. This is just the latest in a string of sporting outings that the prince and princess have taken their son to in recent years, including watching the semi-final and then later the final of the Euro 2020 which was actually held in 2021, an England vs Wales rugby match in 2022, Wimbledon last year, and then in April this year, an Aston Villa match. The thing to note here is that it has been George and only George who has been treated to these particular days out. Outings during which he is normally forced into some mini-suit like a tiny accountant having an away day. Charlotte is currently eight years old around which age George was flying the flag for Great Britain at his first major national sporting matches. Ok, so in 2019, Charlotte was taken to a villa game with her father, mother, and brother, but we have never seen this repeated and that was a private outing. Remember to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell, this way you will be notified when next we drop a report video in this same channel.